Hey guys, welcome back. Another quick project that's going to save me a lot of time and a lot of effort in the shop. Now you've seen I built last week a project was the drill press on one side and the thickness planer on the other. I was going to put my bandsaw there, but I decided against it and I swapped it out with the thickness planer because I thought it would be better for that location and I have a really good spot for the bandsaw. So I'm going to put that up on a rolling cart too, roll that out when I need it, roll it back when I don't. And what I'm going to do is refer to my set of plans here that I drew up last night and referring to you know, plans like this, when you're doing woodworking and projects and stuff like that, if you have a good set of plans, you could save yourself a ton of time. Because once you make a cut list and you just follow that cut list, cut everything in one shot, get everything assembled a lot quicker because you don't have to worry about taking measurements as you go. That's going to slow you down. All right, guys, so let's refer to this list, make the cuts, and get going. Let's make some sawdust. Now, you guys are going to see as the shop's coming together and I keep building my, uh, you know, rolling carts and projects for my power tools and stuff like that, you can see I was able to move my lumber rack from the basement into the garage. Now, I have all my stock at my fingertips here, and that's gonna help me work a lot faster too. What I'm doing here is kind of just laying out a grid, two by fours and two by sixes, kind of like a, a tabletop. And I'm, I don't know if you've seen that in the last video, but that's how I'm gonna cut the full sheet of plywood to break it down with the track. So I'm just gonna drop the, the four by eight sheet of plywood on this, then I'm gonna set up my measurements and make my cut with the track. So not worrying about the plywood having to collapse or hold it from bending inwards and pinching the blade. Now I'm here, I'm just laying out my measurements. I'm gonna cut the uh, the two sides, 21 inches, and everybody's measurements are gonna be different for this depending on the size that you need for your bandsaw because everybody has a different size bandsaw and also the area where you plan to fit this cart. Now once you set up your track saw, you can make quick work of this cut. Now rather than set up my miter saw and do the cross cut here, I'm just going to lay out the track saw and make quick work of the cross cuts with it. Now I'll just mark off my cut list as I go. And then just move on to the next cut. Now here I'm going to mark out 22 inches, that's going to give me the width of the cart for the top and the bottom, and I'm just going to mark it out with a T-square. Alright, now that I have the sides and the back laid out on the floor, what I'm going to do is line them all up, clamp them together, and then pre-drill and screw them together with some wood screws. Now to assemble it, I'm just using a drill bit with a countersink. This way I can save some time and not have to change the drill bits out. And then I'm going to screw it together with some all-purpose construction screws. Now I'm just flushing up the top and repeating the same process I did with the sides, pre-drilling and screwing together. Now I'll flip it over and attach the bottom. Now just to make the casters not sit straight on the box and have 
only three quarters of an inch of meat to grab onto when I have to screw these in. I'm going to double it up with another piece of three quarter plywood that I have left over from the project. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a caster on there, mark a layout line, move it over, mark another layout line, and do this four times. And then I'm going to continue this line here and I'm just going to go make four cross cuts real quick and then each one of these will be sitting on each corner of the box and that will help me secure all my casters. top half of the bandsaw. Eventually I might put a shelf in there, but right now I'm going to throw my compressor down there, get it out of the way. Let's put the bandsaw up. Alright, so you can see we got good mobility moving around the shop. Nice and stable. It's not going anywhere. Get centered a little more. All I gotta do is bolt it to the top of the table. And then when I'm not using it, it's gonna sit right in there. Now I have it out of the way. So when I need it, roll it out, use it. Got a place for more tools. Well guys, that's it. Another project's done. Got a lot of good mobility here. I put my compressor on the bottom, my grinder, my multi-tool. I, I got a lot of space here now, so I'm going to roll this into the corner, get it out of the way until I need it, and I hope to see you guys next time.